today's call Water Leak Produce Cooler. Put a bunch of water down on the floor. And look like it's a little bit of ice on the back. They just disconnect our fans right there. This is behind the fan blades. Yeah, there's some ice back there. Whoa. Look at that. This coil probably could be dirty also, huh? Impacted. Alright, so this coil is dirty. Look at that. Impacted. The drain line is here. There's a large amount of ice right here covering the drain line. This could be because the drain line is clogged or the solenoid is not shutting off. This is a glycol case. Look at that, that drain line there is pretty clogged. Let's follow that drain line. And it comes out here. All right, so we got no water coming out here. I'm using my hose to break the drain line free. All right, so we all done. Get our blades back on. Also, we're gonna check our solenoid for our glyco. Um, if they're still flow, this coil will be getting cold. All right, so I just put my fan blades back together. I believe this unit froze up due to the drain line being clogged. This is a glyco case. Normally, what it does is it has a solenoid that um, stops the flow of glyco when it goes through defrost. So it's a time off case. All right, so this pipe is not cold, so it does seem to be that the solenoid is working, stopping the flow of glycol. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, flip the switch and uh, see what happens. Let's turn this on, system 39. All right, so you can see my pipe starting to ice up. Um, that solenoid is working, it is holding. As you can see now, it's starting to frost up. If it didn't, um work properly what would happen it would have continued to frost up the whole time i was de-icing the coil all right so the valve coil is all clean all right it's our motor room glyco rack it's our heat exchanger pump station down there case just came out of defrost 